Yeah, the, the, the fact that every Tesla car is capable of full self-driving, every car we build and have built for the last several years is capable of uh, full self-driving is, is pretty wild, and most people don't, don't know that. So, um, and then we've got the, the first car that is specifically built for uh, uh, unsupervised full self-driving to, to be a robot taxi. It's called a cyber cab. It doesn't even have pedals or a steering wheel. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, no, no, there's no side view mirrors. There's no uh, yeah. So it's it's and, and it's it's very much optimized to min for for the lowest cost per mile in or, in an autonomous mode. Um, and that production is happening right here in this factory, and we'll be starting production in April next year. Um, So the, the way that um, CyberCab is designed is it's, it's, it's designed uh, obviously for a purely autonomous world, but also the manufacturing system is uh, unlike any other car. Uh, it, the manufacturing system of the CyberCab, uh, it's, it's sort of, it's closer to a high volume consumer electronics device than it is a, a car manufacturing line. So, the net result is that I think we should be able to achieve, I think ultimately less than a, a 10 second cycle time, basically a unit every 10 seconds. Uh, maybe ultimately take a few years to get there, but it's theoretically possible to get to a five second uh, production time. And um, so, so what that would mean is you could get on a, on a line that would normally produce, say, 500,000 cars a year at uh, uh, a one-minute cycle time, uh, like Model Y, the, the, this, this would be maybe as much as, you know, two or three million, maybe ultimately, you know, it's theoretically possible to achieve a five million unit production line uh, if, you, if you can get to the five-second cycle time. So.